Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. Enhance your coding experience in 2023 by linking ChatGPT to Visual Studio Code. This comprehensive tutorial will show you how to seamlessly integrate the two platforms, making coding and development more efficient. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, obviously the first thing that we will need to have is Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, this is it in front of you. For those who doesn't own it already, you can simply head up to Visual Studio Code or just write to Visual Studio. Make sure guys that the Visual Studio Code is the blue icon one. There is two apps with the same logo, the Visual Studio Code. Uh, without code and the Visual Studio Code. So there is two, Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. In our case, we are going with video, Visual Studio Code. Here, simply just head up to their official web page and make sure to download it to whatever uh, system you have. They accept Mac OS, Windows X64 and Linux X64 and there is other downloads and open on web in case you didn't want to download it. Right after that, make sure to go through the installation and the download process. That is very easy. So normally when you open your uh, Visual Studio Code for the first time, it will be something looking like that with your code around here. And yeah, the system will be here, etc, etc. Now, what is more interesting, guys, is we need to add sometimes our a code of ChatGPT as an example. So what can we do to actually code ChatGPT to help us encoding in Visual Studio Code? So you might think that you will go here, search for ChatGPT, and maybe somehow uh, help me with coding in VCS code. But yeah, it can be very helpful, but Still, you have to use two platforms, which is your browser and then the Visual Studio Code. And it can be time consuming, especially if you don't have two screens that you can go uh, look at the same time. For example, you have ChatGPT in one screen and VS Code in the other. Well, this is the solution for you guys, especially for those with one screen, is once you have Visual Studio Code opened, you will find this left side menu bar over here. Here you will find the extensions. If you click on Control Shift X as well, you will be able to open the extensions section. In here guys, you will be able to find the marketplace, which is basically all the add-ons, all the languages, all the extensions that you have or you can add into your VS Code. So, in our case today, we are obviously going to search for ChatGPT. So, here we go. As you can see, this is ChatGPT, K3 free, free for charge. And this is its features. For those who are asking, how can we use it? Well, these are your features. Copy and insert code into current and new files. Add brief defined prompts for quick input during questioning. Export code or entire conversation as markdown files. Save your conversation history on your local hard drive. Replay, continue and manage at any time. Bind your own API key that supports GPT-4 to use the GPT-4 model. Bind your own API key to support streaming context conversation and you can post the response at any time, use your own open AI server, privacy secured, all information is saved on your local hard drive without uploading any information to any server. The plugin supports multiple languages including English, simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese. If you wish to add new languages, please raise an issue here. These are the commands that you can use. For example, check the following code for bugs and provide repair suggestion. Explain the following code in detail. Refactor this code and tell me what did you change. ChatGPT 2.0 add test the following code. ChatGPT add predefined prompt. ChatGPT choose predefined prompt. ChatGPT custom prompt so you can generate custom requires for ChatGPT. 
chat gpt add predefined prompts add predefined prompts there is also bind your own api to the chat gpt validate api key there is chat gpt refresh api key to chat gpt set language chat gpt set up a custom proxy server uh chat gpt ask a question and clear list and finally export markdown for the users simply you just have to go and install the extension from the vs code marketplace as you can see right in front of you in this video and then as you can see simply by clicking on this install button here we go install it and there we have it so now it is enabled so the next thing is basically press the shortcut Control shift p or command shift p and type chat gpt ask a question so let's try it out Control shift p and chat gpt for example ask a question here i'm going to write anything uh, one plus one and there you have it so here it is your conversation conversation with chat gpt so here for example what is one plus one and as you can see client requires error please retry if it still doesn't work yeah here it still needs the api key as you can see so before it can even be integrated you have to get your api key well, for the API key, you can get it normally through the settings by going to your data and get it through here. But this is only available for the users who has the chat GPT premium. So for the chat GPT 4, you will get all the better features that you have in chat GPT. And of course, you will get the uh, the AI model or the API model key so you can use it on your VS Code. And in general, basically, what you're going to get through this is a small chat GPT conversation inside of Visual Studio Code. Nothing crazy about it. So you can still use chat GPT normally. They are still the same thing. Nothing is pretty much different. It's just for those who has like um, have it annoying to keep switching between the window for example from app to another from vs go to google chrome well yeah it can be very very annoying especially for a long time coding a long day of coding well yeah it do be annoying but in general for those who got two screens i prefer for my own self that I upgrade my plan on ChatGPT and get the ChatGPT4 and use it on the browser. There is no problem of using ChatGPT on a browser because it would be even much faster since you will be connected to the server uh, like um, directly instead of having like a third party API that will help you do that. And at the same time, it will still be faster for you with two screens than having it inside of your Visual Studio code. So, yeah, guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I kept every information as detailed as possible. Thank you guys a lot for watching, and see you guys in the next tutorial.